Hello everyone, hello, Anthony Samroff, international therapist and life coach. Okay, I've got an email from a viewer here and they say, just wanted to say I find your videos really interesting. What would you say to someone who is scared to tell someone something important because it could risk a friendship or relationship? Now, this is a situation I'm sure we've all been in at some point and will likely all be in again. And I think the first thing, the really important thing to realize is, first of all, you have to be honest to yourself. You have to be honest to yourself and know your own mind and what you really think and feel about things. And when you communicate with someone else, if you can get clear in your own mind about what you want to say, then that will put you at a huge advantage in terms of being able to communicate efficiently, not overload the other person, and be able to communicate in a way that's likely to resolve the conflict. Oh, we've got some viewers. Hello, Sataya. Thank you for saying hello. So, my first suggestion to help you get clear is the first thing you'd want to do is grab a pen and paper, get your notebook, and basically write down everything that you'd want to say to the other person to get clear in your head. And you can do this one or two ways. You could just write out your own mind, or hypothetically, you could write a letter. It's not to actually be sent. It's just if you didn't have to hold back and you could just say it all and you didn't have to monitor your language or anything, just get it all out. And this will also help you emotionally vent and come down to earth and unburden yourself. So just don't hold back, uh, don't censor yourself, just write it down to get very clear and precise um, in your own head how you're feeling, what you're thinking and what your comments are. And don't, don't self-censor. Now, oh, thank you, you've got some very nice comments. You're fantastic, man. Glad I met you last night, Firewater on Thursdays. Well, it's nice to be out and meet, uh, meet people who might benefit from videos like these. So, the next step to do is to read through the letter and number all the points, that, the actual distinct points, the things you'd want to say. One, two, three, four. Go through the letter or the rant and number the individual things. And then you're going to want to write those points down again clearly without any emotional language. Now, now you will be ready or maybe you'll have to sleep on it. Uh, I suggest sleeping on it. Um, now that you're more clear, you should know whether you have to confront the other person or not. Sometimes you'll find that once you really know your own mind, you might find out, well, this is just, in this case, it's something that I'm going to hold on to. If you've got an inclination towards being a people pleaser, and I can say this as a recovering or recovered people pleaser, then you might want to have a look at that and figure out whether you're just making excuses for yourself. But sometimes, you know, you don't have to say everything to everyone. But I really value authenticity in relationships and I wouldn't like someone to be stewing with something uh, about me and feeling like they couldn't confront me on it. So if you want to have authentic, open, honest conversations, remember there's always a risk when you don't bring these things up because you're going to be attracting people who you don't feel like you can be honest with and you're going to be scaring people away who really value authenticity and open and honest communication. So, if you've decided that you want to uh, actually have a conversation with the other person, then make sure you've remembered your numbered points. You might want to write them down another time so that you don't leave the conversation thinking, oh, damn it, I wish I'd said this, I wish I'd said that, and the other thing. You need to, you, um, you, you want to make sure that you know all the things that you want to say and get them a, and ask them, is this a good time to talk? And you can even say something like, you know, there's been something on my mind that I want to talk to you about and it's not easy to say because I really value our friendship and, you know, I'm scared in case it might jeopardize it. That's framing the situation. That's giving them some context so that they know the, the context in which you're telling them something and it's not a big shock to them and they can be prepared to go, oh, no, 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 you know, you know please tell me. Or, you know, if they start getting defensive already, eh, not such a good sign. You might want to say something like, 
uh, are you are you feeling defensive are you feeling scared and, and see if they've got anything to say and then if they're they're open to hearing you then you should be able to say the main points clearly and not uh, not don't give a big convoluted let, uh, lecture don't bring up a whole bunch of past things that they've done that have annoyed you try and stay on the point and that will that that would be the best way to do it. Most people just react emotionally and that's likely to lead to bad outcomes. So this is just a, a quick live feed. If you've got any questions that you'd like me to do in another live feed, you can email me at anthony at beyourselfandloveit.com and of course, uh, if you want my help personally, I am available for consultations and I, I do, I would like you to share this video. Please share the video because that's how I get to speak to new people. And it's really wonderful to, the, these live streams are going really well, but uh, if people don't share them, then I don't know that I'm doing a good job. And, you know, the more people that know about this stuff, the better, because we can all have more peaceful and harmonious relationships. Until the next live feed, thank you and goodbye.